Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you my 2011 college football conference preview. We're going to look at the FBS independence. That's Notre Dame, Army, Navy, and the newly independent team, BYU. So let's just jump right into this list, into this video, and let's start with the recruiting trail and see how well these teams recruited in the offseason. Best recruiting class, you have to go with Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish brought in a lot of explosive playmakers, but that headliner of this class has to be linebacker Ishaq Williams. This guy is 6'5", 242 pounds. You see him right here at the defensive end spot. Brings a lot of pressure off the edge. Dominated high school football in New York City coming out of Brooklyn, but he should make an already talented unit that much more explosive. This was a big coup for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Some other key recruits in the FBS independence. You look at Army's talented defensive back Isaac Winters. This guy's right here in the video. He's a running back, but he has the footwork and the ability to make the change the cornerback at the next level. BYU brought in a talented defensive lineman in Baker Pritchard. This guy gets pressure all the time. Maybe a rush in at the linebacker spot, but he's a solid player. Navy has the talented running back Mayaka Polamalu. Yes, that's Troy Polamalu's cousin. But this guy should be a fixture in that option offense. Now here's some FBS independent superlatives that you want to look out for best pro prospect you have to go to South Bend with the talented wide receiver in Michael Floyd this guy could have came out last year and been a high draft selection 6'3 210 pounds very physical and he's outstanding after the catch and that's what you want from your wide receivers and he also has very soft hands toughest schedule in the FBS independence I have to go with the Notre Dame fighting hours look at this murderous schedule September is gonna be brutal they got bro games at Pitt at Michigan and they also get a solid Michigan State team and a very talented South Florida team at home but that is a tough slate and that's gonna be a true test for the fighting hours this season predictions for the FBS independence let's start with the Army Black Knights reasons for optimism you have to start with quarterback Trent Steelman he is the true field general of that option offense and that's the reason why that offense will not miss a beat this guy is outstanding very good quarterback and also is a guy that has underrated passing skills now another reason for optimism is the linebacker Steven Erzinger big playmaker makes a lot of plays behind the line of scrimmage now cause for concern is that offensive line a lot of big pieces lost to that puzzle but what we will learn about Army is that they will make it to back-to-back -back bowl games for the first time in a long time next up is the BYU Cougars Reasons for optimism, you have to look at Jake Keeps. His maturation in his second year will be key because that offense already has a talented running game with talented tailback J.J. D. Luigi. So if Heaps can take the next progression with the passing game, this offense can be explosive. You also have to love the improvement of that D-line. That's the biggest thing. Bronco Mendenhall took over that defensive line last season and they vastly improved. Yes, they took less. Uh, yes, they played lesser opponents, but still they did a better job than they did in the first half of the season. The cause for concern is that defense. How hollow was that improvement last year? I think they'll be fine though, but that's the only reason for concern. Navy midshipman is up next. You gotta love that option attack, and that's the biggest reason for optimism. When you run the option, you put teams at a disadvantage. Teams have a tough time preparing for it on a short week, and Navy runs the option attack like no one else. You also have to be optimistic about defensive end Jabari Tuanai. This guy does a great job of getting to the quarterback, one of the best players in Navy's illustrious history. The cause for concern is a lot of newbies on defense, but what we will learn about Navy is that they will make their ninth straight bowl appearance. They will find a way to overcome the new players on defense. Next up, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Reasons for optimism for Notre Dame is a defensive improvement. They were horrendous the year before defensively, but last year they improved significantly. These are a lot of guys now that can make a bunch of plays behind the line of scrimmage to do a great job of playing together. So you have to like the improvement of that unit. You also have to love the offensive firepower with Dane Chris and the wide receivers. There's a lot of talent at the wide receiver spot for Notre Dame. Speaking of Michael Floyd and also Theo Riddick, but the question or cause for concern for Notre Dame would be the quarterback question. Can Dane Chris stay healthy and that schedule? They have a murderous September. But if they can overcome that, what we will learn from Notre Dame is that they will make a BCS Bowl bid for the first time in a couple of years. For more college football conference video previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash college football or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan. And listen to the football game plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blogtalkradio.com slash football game plan.